Did you know there's a decentralized exchange that has thousands of tokens listed and several times it's actually had more trading volume than Coinbase. In today's KuCoin DigiDive, we're going to be talking about Uniswap and the Uni token. If you guys would like to go ahead and get started trading this coin, there's a link in the description below to get 20% off trading fees. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for, dude? Hit that subscribe button and that way you guys are always staying ahead of the markets. First off, what is Uniswap? Well, it helps to understand what the technology is. It's an AMM. The difference between a AMM and a order book is that on a centralized exchange like Binance, Coinbase, Kraken, KuCoin, etc., in order for there to be any tokens sold, there has to be a seller. And what this means is that for every buy order, there must be a sell order. So if there are no sell orders out there, you can't buy any tokens. Whereas Uniswap has a little bit of a, a different approach. It's not a order book. Instead, it's a AMM, an automated market maker. And how this would work is, let's say for example, I have 1000 USDC or $1,000 and I have one Ethereum. Let's say I deposit both of these into the pool. This would mean since I have one Ethereum for every 1000 USDC, one ETH is worth $1,000. However, if I was to go into the pool and say, okay, since one ETH is worth $1,000, I'm going to go ahead and buy half an ETH. So I would deposit $500 and I would get half an ETH in return. Well, not exactly. In fact, there's a thing called slippage, but in theory, this is how it would work. There's actually a formula called X times Y equals K. Before we get too confusing and technical, I'll save that for later in the video so you guys can understand how it works. But in theory, how an AMM works is I deposit tokens in and I get tokens out. This is the swapping mechanism. And what's going on inside that pool is it rebalances every time someone swaps. So when I take out that half ETH, in theory, there would be 1500 USDC and half an ETH in there. What that would mean at that point in time is Ethereum is now worth $3,000. Now, why is that you ask? Well, if half an ETH is worth $1,500, well, you do 1,500 times two, that gives you $3,000. So that's where you get the ETH price of 3,000 bucks. So that's more of a general overview of Uniswap and how it works. But the TLDR is it allows you to swap different tokens for other tokens. So if I have some Ethereum and I want some USDC in a decentralized and permissionless way, I don't have to go through an order book. I don't have to go through a third party. I literally can go over to the Uniswap protocol just like this and say, I want to swap one Ethereum for some USDC. And you can see if you have the total of balance, it'll allow you to swap. You just click swap, confirm the swap and pay the transaction fee. Boom, you were able to sell your ETH or buy your ETH in a decentralized permissionless manner. Now let's say for example, you wanted to be the person in this situation that wanted to provide liquidity. The incentive for providing liquidity is you're actually going to be earning the swap fees. So what you would do is you would select a new position. When you're creating your position, you must select the two assets you're wanting to provide liquidity for. In this example, we're gonna show you Uniswap V3. I wanna go ahead and provide liquidity for some ETH and one inch token. To see where most of the liquidity is at, you can see this blue section. This is where most of the liquidity is at. So if you scoot it over, you can see the price range is between 443 one inch for every one ETH and 3,352 one inch per ETH. You can also select the tier. So I want to earn 1% swap fees. Well, it's not always the best because if there's not a lot of volume there, you could actually be better off doing the 3%. You could actually be better off doing the 0.3% or the 0.05% swap fee or even the 0.01%. It always helps to check the charts. I'll get into that later in this video, but let's go and explain this part first. So after you select your tokens, you select the tier, you would then select the maximum amount of tokens you would like to deposit and it will allow you to provide liquidity here it'll say add liquidity. Once you do that, it'll add the liquidity in the pool. And now every time someone swaps inside the one inch ETH pool, I would be earning a percentage of the swap fees. We're gonna go and look at the liquidity ranges for one inch. If you scroll down and look one inch slash ETH at 0.3%, 
The TVL of this is 8.93 million with a $2.61 million 24 hour volume. That's okay. It's not a crazy yield, but all you do is you click on the pool and see the total fees. You can see the total fees are 7.76 K to get the amount that you would earn. You have to figure out the percentage of the pool that you have. So if you own 1% of the pool, you would get 1% of the 7.76 K. If you own hundred percent, you would get all those fees for that day. So that's how you can figure out the fees for each of the pools. As you can see here, the one with the best TVL to trading volume ratio is the one inch to ETH 0.3% pool just based on the TVL to volume ratio. So I just showed you how you guys can provide liquidity. I showed you guys how to swap. I also showed you guys how to use the charts to select the different pools that you're looking for. And we also explained how an AMM and LP pools work. That is a general overview of Uniswap and how it works. And actually any protocol can list any of the assets that they want. So if they want to provide liquidity for their token, all they do is they select the amount of tokens they want to provide on the left side and select the amount on the right side. The Uniswap V3 is a little more technical than Uniswap V2 because the pools are not all 50 50. In fact, they can have concentrated liquidity weights, but for the sake of time, we're just going to leave it at this general overview. Let's go and take a look at the health of Uniswap. If you go over to DeFi Llama, you can see that the TVL for the most part trends up. Now this blue line is actually the price of the token. We're going to go ahead and get rid of the market cap chart. And you can see here the TVL over time is actually trending up. Now I know you're saying you're like, wait, no, it kind of looks sideways. Well, that's in USD terms. If you put it in ETH, you can see, yes, there was a bit of time where it came down, but now it's trending up and to the right, which is something that you want to see. It's actually ranked fifth on DeFi Llama out of the different DeFi protocols. And it's almost a runner up at four. Most of Uniswap's TVL is actually coming from Ethereum. And it did recently spread onto some L2s, Polygon, as well as Celo. I also want to show you guys this so you can see the runway and the treasury of the Uniswap team. You can see most of the team's assets are denominated in the Uni token. With about 1.4 billion of the Uni token is actually unvested. And the other is locked up. So about 61% of their tokens are locked up. So in total, the treasury is about 3.4 billion. For a protocol like Uniswap, this is a really healthy treasury. However, the treasury assets are denominated in Uni token. So they are going to be reflexive to the asset. One other interesting piece on Uniswap is that its seven day average fees are banging. This thing is second behind Ethereum, which it's built on Ethereum. So it's basically one of the drivers for Ethereum's fees. So in theories, Uniswap is actually contributing a big total to Ethereum. So something to keep in mind and the power of Uniswap. You can see it compared to Binance Smart Chain, Bitcoin. It actually is by a long shot. It's actually second in line, as you can see, based on the average fees. Now, with all these different metrics about the Uniswap protocol, how much volume, how much fees it's generating, what about the Uni token? Well, the Uni token is actually a different story. The only utility it has is governance. So as you can see here, currently the only thing you can do with the uni token is voting on these governance proposals. This is on mainnet on Ethereum. So overall, what are my thoughts on Uniswap? Well, first the team is constantly building. They're constantly rolling out different features and functions from Uniswap V1 to V2 to V3, and even having the permissionless pools. This is a game changer for several protocols who don't have the money to be able to be listed on exchanges. This allows any protocol to create their own LP pair and get liquidity for their token. Also taking a look at the charts and the metrics of the growth of the Uniswap team and the protocol itself is outstanding. These guys are constantly growing and they're constantly gaining TVL. Yes, there are some bumps here and there in the road, but overall it is trending up. They're actually gaining a market share over some other protocols, especially in the stable coin space with Uni V3 compared to Curve. They're also banging on fees. However, again, for the Uni token, just having the utility of governance, is that enough? Time will tell, we'll see what happens. But as for the protocol, me, I'm an avid user. The service it provides is very beneficial, especially with the integration of Uni V3 and concentrated liquidity. And as for its moat and staying power, it already has a lot of liquidity. 
And how most of these AMNs work is that liquidity attracts traders and traders attract liquidity. So as you have this reflexive flywheel spinning up, you get larger and larger and you get better and better prices. Being that this protocol has almost $7 billion in TVL, if I was to launch my own AMM and just throw it out there, it would be much harder for me to compete with someone like Uniswap when they already have a bunch of liquidity. So it does have a strong staying power with most of the liquidity being there. Now, as for the future of Uniswap, time will tell, we'll see what happens. These guys are constantly developing, rolling out new features, and they're actually staying ahead of the game. Let's go ahead and hit you guys with a wisdom one-liner. Proverbs chapter 12, verses seven. The wicked are overthrown and no more, but the house of the righteous stands firm. Be strong, be good. Thanks for watching this KuCoin DigiDive. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on Uniswap and the Uni token. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash up the like, subscribe to the channel. It's that red button at the bottom. And that way you guys stay up to date every time we make a new one. There's also a link in the description below so you guys can get 20% off trading fees. We'll see you guys in the next one.